guys, Matt Dilgard from Bill Harris Auto, proud sponsor of No On The Road. Stan here with this beautiful 2018 Chevy Silverado Heavy Duty High Country. A little bit about Bill Harris, we like to really serve our community with excellence in a distinctively different manner that really enriches our community. Hopefully you guys enjoy the show. Hello, welcome to another edition of Noah on the Road. I am super excited to be here with Destination Mansfield's Jody Snavely, and we're going to be talking a little bit about the Shawshank Trail. Jody, do you want to just talk to us a little bit about what the Shawshank Trail is? The Shawshank Trail is actually 15 filming sites from the movie The Shawshank Redemption. And Destination Mansfield, Richland County, where I work, created the Shawshank Trail 10 years ago. Fans from all over the world have come to see the filming sites because they love the movie so much. And the Shawshank Trail is really interesting because you are seeing actual scenes from the movie. You're stepping right into those scenes. Excellent. And, and, and you said that there are 15 in, in the area. That expands outside of just Richland County, right? That's also Ashland? Correct. So there are about 10 sites here in Richland County and there's two sites in Ashland, Ohio, two sites in Upper Sandusky, Ohio, and then the final filming site is in St. Croix, U.S. Virgin Islands. And so when are we going to get to fly over there? Well, we could do that later this afternoon. All right, good, because <laughs> it's a little chilly here. It's like 35 degrees. Absolutely. So that sounds really nice. Right. So I realized that uh, probably the number one um, Shawshank Trail location now is, is the uh, Shawshank Prison or Ohio State Reformatory. We know back in 2016, approximately well over 100,000 people came to see Shawshank filming sites. When uh, the tree came down, I, I know that there was a lot of, of uh, media attention. Uh, the BBC, for instance, picked up the article. Fans uh, from all over the world were posting on Shawshank Trail's social media sites, their memories of the tree, photos that they had taken over the years. How important is it to sort of have people know where the signs are? Because as you mentioned, one of the first things that you mentioned is the fact that it's it's a very unique thing that not all movies have it, um, have, have locations that you can sort of be a part of or interact with. So the 15 filming sites have movie site signs located at the filming sites. And it's really something that you know, we had put up a couple years ago and it was to help fans find those sites. So you guys are coming up on the 25th anniversary for Shawshank Redemption. Is that how old the Shawshank Trail is as well? No, the Shawshank Trail is actually 10 years old, but the Shawshank Redemption movie will be 25 years old next year in 2019. Okay, are you guys doing anything special for it? Well, we sure are. We're uh, working with all of the filming sites, the Ohio State Reformatory um, and Destination Mansfield, Richland County, and we are going to be putting together a fun weekend for fans. It's going to be August 16th through the 17th of 2019. We do know that Scott Mann and Renee Blaine are coming and they were the lovers in the beginning of the movie. Oh, okay. Yeah, and then also Frank Madrano who played, excuse the language, fat ass in the movie. Right. Who doesn't okay. fat ass? <laughs> right, yeah. exactly. And then we've also reached out to William Sadler who played Haywood in the movie. Oh, um, and exciting news also Bob Gunton, who played the warden, yes. is looking forward to coming back. He and comes down here pretty often. Yeah, he's been here three times. And the Shawshank Hustle is also something that you guys are involved with? Well, we help promote the Shawshank okay. Hustle. So we're coming up to a Shawshank Trail uh, sign on the road, and it's for the Bisman Building. Do you want to just tell us a little bit about that filming location? Sure. The Haunted Bisman building was uh, used as the Portland Daily Bugle and the Brewer Hotel in the movie. All right. Well, that's going to do it for us on this edition of Noah on the Road. We are extremely uh, happy to have Bill Harris as our sponsor, and uh, we look forward to having you guys watch along with us. <laughs>